What's up, everybody? It's June 23rd, 2021. It's about 1.30 in the afternoon, and it is 70 degrees Fahrenheit, 21 Celsius. I am in Fort Wayne, Indiana today, the second most populous city in Indiana. Just walking out of my hotel, the Hampton Inn Suites, right across the street from the Grand Wayne Convention Center. And this video, I'm going to be walking through downtown Fort Wayne. So let's get this walk started. Here it is, the Hampton Inn and Suites Hotel. It's also connected to the Courtyard by Marriott, right next door. But a little bit of facts and history about Fort Wayne before I start. It's the seat of Allen County in the United States, and it's pretty much close to the Ohio border. And it was named Fort Wayne because this guy named Anthony Wayne, he was an American Revolutionary War general, um, built a fort here called Fort Wayne. So the city was named after the historic fort and hopefully we can see that historic fort today walking through the downtown. This area also built up a lot when the canals uh, came through here and the railroads. Over here is the Parkview Field, the Fort Wayne Tin Caps. I don't know if they're um, open right now, but I think it is a Little League, uh, Little League team. This is uh, Jefferson Boulevard, by the way, one of the busy streets in downtown. There's a place here called King Gyros, or King Euros, as they say it in Greece. Haven't tried this place yet because I've only been here for a day. And I'm kind of like figuring out where everything is, but I kind of have a clue of where the nice attractions are and where to show you so I'll be taking everyone there this is Rally's crazy good food don't know if their food's crazy good but looks very good that for sure There's a few fast food places along here. Over here you got Taco Bell. And then across the street you have Domino's. But last night I tried this place over here, O'Reilly's Irish Bar and Restaurant, and it was pretty good. The meatloaf, the meatloaf I had was really good. It had great mashed potatoes.
just waiting for the traffic to pass through. So you may notice a lot of these scooters around, the Veo scooters. I think it is a uh, unique model for this company. But I haven't tried these scooters out yet. They're rental scooters. I downloaded the app. It's a dollar to start the scooter and it costs 25 cents a minute to ride. Here we're in the Gateway District of Fort Wayne. I think where I started from was called the uh, Arts and Culture District. But I'll be wrapping back around there once I head right over here. This street over here is called um, Fairfield Avenue. There's a Shell gas station across the street as well as McDonald's and also a Starbucks restaurant on this corner. But I'm about to walk on Washington Boulevard. That's the next street on the other side of the convention center where I'll then head north. The Veo company also has these electric bikes. I didn't check how much these electric bikes cost, but they should be comparable to the scooter prices. I've also seen many people here ride their bicycles on the sidewalk and scooters on the sidewalk and they seem quite normal with it. Over here is the Salvation Army. See, that's what happened. There's a cyclist right on the sidewalk, almost went into me around the corner. It was a blind corner. But this section of Fort Wayne is called the West Central Area. That'll be away from the downtown, so I don't want to go there. But the downtown you can see over here has all the tall buildings. It was supposed to be sunny today, but looks like it's turning into be mostly cloudy. In fact, the forecast on my phone even says that it's drizzling, but I don't see any drizzle right now. This building over here is very impressive. This is the Trinity English Lutheran Church. And then over here to my left, we have the Allen County Public Library. As I stated near the beginning of this video, Fort Wayne is located in Allen County. And I believe this is the main library.
Yes. <laughs> the driver's like, something about a camera. They have never probably seen anything like this before. This is a unique looking house. I'm not sure if we're going to be passing by any traditional uh, homes around here, but definitely in another video I will show you some. These two streets, Jefferson and Washington, are the um, main two through streets through the city going east and west. Wow, this is the uh, other end of the library. It takes up the entire block. Then over here across the street, you have the Firefighters Museum. It's a beautiful brick building. I like the doors on the firehouse over there. These scooters seem very sturdy. They even got suspensions. And you can tell we're in the arts and culture district because you've got murals such as that showing up now. And to the right of me is the Fort Wayne Convention Center again on the other side. I'll actually take a walk through it if it's open. I did walk through it last night and it's pretty beautiful inside. I'd like to show you at least the, uh, the main room there and as well as the front entrance. So there's a severe weather shelter area with a picture of a tornado. Good to know for those who need it. Okay, so. This is the Fort Wayne Convention Center. Really bright space. Tons of room for any of your gathering needs. We got restrooms over there. I don't think I'll be able to get into the main room here because there's a key uh, pin on the door. But at least you're able to see this, which is really remarkable. Very relaxing and bright, extremely clean.
look at this there's tons of seating areas all over here well let's just try it if it's locked then I guess we're not going to be able to see it but yeah unfortunately not open but let's go outside now and I'll show you the rest of the downtown area I can't use the rotating door so I got to use this one this place, Connor's Kitchen and Bar, I'd like to try it. It is connected to the building where my hotel is. There's also a sky bridge here, the Robert Goldstein Bridge, which connects to this building over here, the Embassy Theater. And wouldn't you know it, there's a map here of Fort Wayne, Indiana, at least the downtown. So basically, I already started from here. I walked all the way to Fairfield. West Central area is over here, which I'm not gonna cover in this video. All right, someone wants to be, say hi on camera. But I'm over here, Fort Wayne Convention Center. And I'll try to walk around this area. Maybe I'll head up here. There's a few other things that Fort Wayne is known for. I was searching up some information and they're known for the Science Central Museum as well as the um, Children's Museum. There's also a botanical, um, what is it, botanic? It's right over here on the corner here. Botanical Conservancy, which is really nice. It's full of plants and it looks like a big greenhouse. I just wish there wasn't so much traffic on this street. I mean, you would think Indiana is a small state and there wouldn't be this many cars, but Beautiful flowers out in front. Here's the Diocesan Museum. see if we can go in and take a look just at this main area. So there's a $5 admission and this is gorgeous. Butterfly exhibit, got a beautiful fountain here in the middle. Beautiful roof and the side here. All right, so I'll show, show you the rest of Fort Wayne. Uh, Wayne. Tongue twister there. But looks like a very nice place to visit inside this botanical conservancy. It's $5 to go in. Now we got to deal with the traffic on Jefferson Boulevard again. I think 
can push the button here. Wait. 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 Yes, I knew I was going to say that. Wait. Wait to cross Jefferson Boulevard at Calhoun Street. Wait. Wait. Jefferson Boulevard. Much better than the talking crosswalks where I'm from in New York. They just say, wait, 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 wait. But at least over here, they announce which street it is. Here's the Hilton Hotel. This may be the biggest or the tallest building in Fort Wayne. I think that says in Indiana Power. It's really hard to see from this angle. Oh, I think it says Indiana and Michigan power because Michigan is really close to here too. Alright, so this building is home to a Chase Bank, Indiana, Michigan Power, and Serva Worldwide Relocation and Moving. This is the Allen County Bar Association. And this is the UTEC building. There's a lot of nice shops and businesses around here. I can see that Fort Wayne is really into their arts and culture. Over here we've got the Jimmy John's restaurant, gourmet sandwiches. It's a very unique bicycle lock or rack. Hey, what's up? People are so friendly here. They're waving to the camera and so curious. Downtown live, live music. downtown planted program that's a really neat looking coffee shop for Teza coffee Oh, wow. They've got paper lanterns along the street, along with the murals. So, so gorgeous. Is this supposed to be a bird? Huh.
even this side is very nice picnic table and outdoor heating too and on top of the Forteza coffee there's even a slogan that says we got this Fort Wayne it's all in post-it notes Pints and Slice, really unique name for a restaurant. And then you've got the Eye of the Illuminati there in a pizza slice, along with the toppings. This over here has to be a government building. It's really huge. Maybe even be the city hall or courthouse building, something. Let's actually walk to the front of it and we'll see for sure what it is. The architecture on this building is incredible. All right, so it is the courthouse. It's the Allen County Courthouse building. And then over here to my right is the Lincoln National Bank and Trust Company beautiful building in the downtown as well. The Allen Courthouse is also on the National Register of Historic Places. They've got a really nice lawn in the front here. Here's a uh, plaque over here for us to read. Okay, so this was the first police station. 1863 marked the beginning of first organized police force in the city. The police headquarters building is actually right across the street from us. Very convenient, the police headquarters is across the street from the courthouse. All right, so let's head up Clinton Street across the river.
I'd also like to wrap around and see the historic old fort as well. That's probably where I'll end the video. Looks like it doesn't say wait. anything. It just says wait. Wait. You know what? I still got some time to cross over here. There's the Journal Gazette building. Let's cross over here. Wait. So the sidewalk is closed over here. It's a beautiful public park. Who's this a statue of? Major General Anthony Wayne. This is who the city is named after. Revolutionary War here, Anthony Wayne. Beautiful fountain. I think the cops are enjoying patrolling this area too. This uh, park, by the way, is called Freeman Square. I think what I'll do is I'll do it in reverse. I was going to cross over the river first, but I'm going to walk over this way to the historic Fort Wayne, uh, Wayne site and then walk across the Do Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Bridge because that bridge is very nice as well. There's also a few museums on this side which I want to show. Oh wow, these are all musicians. World's End Tour, Lincoln Park, Robbie Williams Show. I think that's Elvis up there. Blondie, Prince, ACDC. Do they all perform here or maybe these are just different types of artwork or album covers that they had. But this is the Arts United Center at 303 Main Street. Over here we've got the Fort Wayne Museum of Art in front of me. and the Our Center for Arts and Culture.
They've got some really beautiful sculptures around here. A century of making meaning, a hundred years of collecting. So this is Lafayette Street. I'm gonna make a left here, cross over the St. Mary's River, over to the Old Fort Wayne, historic Old Fort, where there's a recreation of the fort that used to be there. So this sign, according to the sign, we're heading into the Headswater District now. As you see up there, historic Fort Wayne is straight ahead, as well as Science Central. I think going up over here, we'll see more, uh, more homes. It'll be a little bit more residential. There's plenty of electric scooters over there across the street. This is the Governor Samuel Bigger Memorial Bridge. And we are crossing over the St. Mary's River right now. This river was one of the main rivers that allowed Fort Wayne to develop. That looks like a really nice, relaxing place to go and hang out.
nice big wooden patio overlooking the river. They've also got some floating boats. Alright, so over here is the Fort Wayne Historic Park. We'll walk through the historic area and then I'll make my way over to the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Bridge. There's restrooms here, but it looks like they're closed. But the porta potties are open. What a gorgeous area. I never thought I would see something like this in Fort Wayne. opening it's incredible that something like this is here granted it's a recreation but it's a very good recreation Hi. Got any questions I can help you with? Uh, yeah, sure. Can you tell me a little bit about this place? Yep. Yeah, I'm making a YouTube video. This is so cool. There you are. Yeah. Yep. This is a reproduction built in 1976. Wow. Mm -hmm. It's here in service from 1816 to 1819. Wow. 1816 to 1819. Yeah. It's a long time. It is. Yeah, for three years, but. Yep. This is what the city was known, uh, named after, the actual fort here. And they got the flagpole right in the middle. All right, thanks. Let's give them a donation because they're very helpful.
give him four dollars. Takes a lot to maintain that structure. Now we're going to walk over the St. Mary's River again, but on this wooden uh, pedestrian bridge. This is so cool. And this bridge goes right over into Headswater Park. Got a great skyline view of Fort Wayne there, downtown. Wow, what is this? Early Masonic Lodge, Old Fort near this was the site of the first Masonic meetings in Northern Indiana. Let's walk through here. I have a lot of curiosity what's through these bushes. Little Turtle, Miami Chief Michikanakwa, because Fort Wayne was really originally settled by the Miami Native American Indians. They had an influence here with the three rivers. This is such a beautiful park. There's tons of space and no one even here. That might be a statue of the uh, Miami chief right there. Yes, little turtle. Chief of the Miami Indian Nation. It's really neat that we're able to even learn some history while walking through Fort Wayne like this. There's some more statues up there. The earliest railroad 
the Wabash and Erie Canal was instrumental in the construction of first railways in Fort Wayne. I even briefly mentioned this a little bit at the beginning of the video, but now we can actually pause and read the plaque and know more about it. Duck Creek Early Industry and Business Development. Actually, it feels like there's people over there, so I'm not the only person in this park. So we are about to approach the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial Bridge and the conclusion of this amazing walk through downtown Fort Wayne. If you have an opportunity, I highly advise you to come here and check it out because there's a lot more to the city than I ever thought was possible and there's so much to see. Also at nighttime, this bridge really lights up in so many beautiful colors. I've seen it in screenshots, but I haven't seen it in person yet. I think one day I will walk over here at nighttime and see it when it's all lit up and pretty. Hopefully we can get a good view of it once we get past all these plants. And there it is, the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Bridge. Let's walk over it. Faith is taking the first step even when you don't see the whole staircase. Completely forgot about this too. Here it is, honoring Dr. King's life and legacy. There's also a beautiful waterfront path here for people to walk on. Anyway, everybody, I will be ending my video here. If you enjoyed this video walking through downtown Fort Wayne, 
then be sure to smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already to the channel, and I will see you all next time. Take care everyone, bye.